absolutely excited to be here today. I think this is a fantastic opportunity and I kind of feel blessed, you know? I feel blessed to be part of it. I'm pretty excited, I'm pretty stoked. Uh, we just got in the studio and uh, it's beautiful. I'm really excited to meet the professionals and um, I'm excited to hear what they have to say. Technology has changed everything about how music is consumed, distributed, promoted. Now, anyone can release music to the world and use social media sites and promote themselves. Welcome to Idea Jam Music, Breaking Out Online. Today, myself and a group of experts are really gonna break the social code and help artists figure out how they can really build their audience online. And all this is happening at the legendary Village Studios in Santa Monica. Everyone is recorded here from Bob Dylan to Lady Gaga. We have two YouTube artists, Joseph Vincent, who has millions of YouTube fans but doesn't have a record deal. Promise me that you'll stay. And Delaney Gibson, who has a ton of industry accolades, but not that many YouTube views. I'm sweet on you. You got me singing la, la -di -da, la -di -da, da. The one thing I saw watching your videos, this is a secret that I'm just gonna put out there. <laughs> don't start professional. Mm. Because the kids watching your videos can't afford it. Mm -hmm. So they don't feel connected to you if you start professional. There's so much going on online, and artists feel like they have to do everything, and they end up doing everything poorly. So what should artists really focus on? Absolutely the most important thing is the work, right? <laughs> DA, what about you? When you, I mean, you started in social media so, like, immediately the minute it came about. How has it worked for you as an artist? It's worked well because I think, um, you know, my single-minded focus has always been how do we have really rich relationships with our fans. And really what we are now starting to have at our fingertips is the ability to see every time someone listens to a song that we create, where they're listening to it, who they're sharing it with. We really want to figure out how to empower artists to understand what's happening with their music in the world and how to leverage that to build the rest of their career. Yeah, I went to both of your YouTube channels yesterday, and it's great. It really represents both of you as an artist and shows off your music. But I think you need to start using YouTube to start talking to your audience as well. In those videos, send people to your Twitter profile and also your Facebook page. Right. Use YouTube to promote your other spokes around the web. Mm -hmm. Awesome. When we started the conversation, I was talking about um, Delaney and Joseph, and, and that sort of Joseph has like a ton of YouTube plays and and Delaney doesn't, YouTube plays doesn't always translate into, obviously, sales. We're talking about literally many billions of impressions for a single artist in venues that did not exist, in some cases a few months ago or a very few years ago. Right. And so it is now possible to be extraordinarily popular in some channels and be virtually non-existent in other channels, right? This notion of just airplay plus sales equals success um, is, is completely gone. What does that mean for like an artist like, like Joseph or Delaney in terms of translating views into actual commerce? Connect with fans, give them a reason to buy, and they will, right? It's, it, that's kind of the, the math equation. And only once you've done that, then can you sell them something. And you want to offer them. By that point, hopefully, you've built enough of a relationship that you, you know something about those people. You know what they would like. Right. Give them a reason to buy, they'll buy. People love supporting art. Well, authenticity and speaking from the heart, I mean, that's really like what we've been talking about today. Thanks, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. I am really looking forward to this afternoon. We're going to see Delaney and Joseph in the studio with the producers. We're going to have some very cool mentors coming by, including Nika Costa, Pete Wentz. So stay tuned.